So the solar panel he has arrived to the pickup place. So I'm actually right now on my way to pick them up. I've ordered three of them. Uh, they are 180 watt a piece. So that's roughly 500, 540 watts, I think, uh, in total. So I think that's gonna be enough uh, to begin with. Solar panels is picked up and they looked fine in the packaging anyway so that's one thing to think about when you order things like this is to actually look at it before you accept it because uh, if it's uh, if it looks like it's whole in the package or something like that and it's broken and you accept it then you have accepted it so but there they are three of them so there's nothing left to do then go straight home and actually mount them on the roof so let's do that So here is uh, one panel and here is the information about it. As you can see, it's a regular 12 volt, uh, 180 and I have three, I have two more there. So I'm just gonna unpack it and just check that it's, that it's not broken, that it's, uh, that it's in one piece. So let me set up the camera and I'm gonna um, unpack this. Do you like my panels? Do you like them? So it's snowing and ice and I am removing it from the roof just to put up the railing for the solar panels and I'm gonna have it run here or there we had to see uh, but it's actually uh, the same solar panel rails that's used on the roof so made simple just put it up with M8 and rivet nuts in the sheet metal and then bolt it down with some distance under uh, like a rubber mat or something uh, putting out Zika flex and then you can put on the solar panels with the solar panel clamps that you use on the actual roof when you're mounting this so made it very simple you can remove it if you want to and it makes a breeze for install but now it's 10 minus uh, and we had ice here, so I have to remove it. Uh, just to get access to the sheet metal, bare sheet metal, so I can put in the rivet nuts and then mount the rail. So here is the rails. I have not mounted them yet. I have to cut them in length two end caps and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna mount uh, the solar panels with to the rails. But uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do here is just 
uh, putting out spots where I'm going to put in the rivet nut and then put a hole into the rail and then secure it and of course make sure that it's watertight. And a good thing here is that I have cables running in my beams inside and here is an easy way to spot where the beams are. So of course the best thing has been to put it here, right in the middle, but I'm gonna put it outside because I don't think it's gonna do much of a difference. Just that it's close to the beams, so it's more sturdy. But because I have wires in the beams, I'm not gonna risk it because then I'm screwed. I have to take down everything to just to replace it because it was a pain in the ass to get the cables into the flex tube. So yeah, I'm not gonna risk it and I don't think it's gonna be a big difference. So here is what I'm gonna use to secure the solar panels to the roof rail. And this is actually what you use uh, for solar panels on actual actual roofs. So I thought, why not? It's working on the roof and it should surely work on the roof of my new home. So, and this is an end clamp and I have eight of these because I'm gonna have three solar panels, 200 watts each. And then I have two for the middle ones. And that's because in the back, I'm gonna have two after each other so end clamp and clamp and clamp and clamp and then in the middle it's gonna be the middle clamp and then in the front I need four end clamps so total of eight end, end clamps and two for the middle and then it's gonna be secure <laughs> The solar panels here is on place and the frame as well and as I mentioned earlier I used regular uh, clamps this is made for solar panels that you have on roofs uh, this as well so why not go with the stuff that's actually made for it so this is rock solid so this will not come anywhere and what I'm thinking here it's around 90 centimeters and then 50 centimeters. So what I'm thinking is to put in a smaller solar panel in between here. So maybe 50 more on either side, so 100 in total plus the 540 I have, so 640. I know I said more, but I did think that I had, place, had a place, space for a 120 watts on either side but it turns out that it was a little bit too short like a 10 centimeters too short so but uh, i'm not gonna do that right now and if i want i could probably put uh, storage up here as well uh, but yeah this is good enough for now and i got this 
on place. I did actually screw it down. I don't, there were n no holes, so I don't know if it was intended to, but I did it. So I just put butyl tape around it, screw it down, and then put uh, uh, Cicaflex 221, I think it is. solar panels in, is mounted on the roof and unfortunately it's a little bit of uh, snow outside so and the sun is not present at the moment <laughs> it's just a lot of clouds so I don't have that much but you can see it's a success the solar panels is installed uh, I get half the voltage that I supposed to get uh one watts so yeah 